All right, so I was in the market for some tall, like over the calf style socks. It's getting cold out, I'm gonna be wearing boots. I got these new jump boots that I've been wearing and I plan on wearing them all winter long, every day. And uh, I have some socks that are tall, but they kind of been dropping down and rubbing on my boots, rubbing on my legs a little bit. So I was like, oh, we can get some tall socks. So I went and I found these and I bought one box, which is two pair. There's only one pair here because the other pair I'm wearing. And I just walked um, a mile and a half, ate some food, and a mile and a half back. And right where it says here, over the calf. Okay, and they're not over the calf. They're like in the middle of my calf. I am 6'1". And then while I was walking, by the time I got home, they dropped down about three inches. So they definitely don't stay up over the calf. That's for sure. Are they over the calf? Yeah, they're long. But now, they didn't drop below my boots. Now, if I kept walking, would they have dropped below my boots? Since then, my boots start to rub on my leg. If I was going to walk like 10 miles. I, you know, I don't know. So, I'm going to keep wearing them before I go buy more. But, but there is one thing, though. Right here where it says, see, allows circulation with non-binding top, which I didn't really think about, but what that means is there's not a lot of elastic at the top of the, of the sock. So they're not, like, super tight on your legs. You know, maybe, so maybe it's going to be a good thing, like, if you can't get circulation, like, I know my feet freeze in the winter, and a lot of times you get, you know, those socks on, and, you know, if you put two pairs on, they're really tight on your legs. Maybe it's not allowing circulation. So maybe this is going to be good. Um, but it's specifically designed with not to be as tight on your legs. So it's kind of hard to fault them for, for dropping down a little bit. So we'll see. So, I, you know, they are made in USA, which is awesome. Is this going to be the right sock for me? I don't know. I'm going to keep wearing them, and then I'll decide whether I'm going to... I mean, I'm definitely going to use them. They, like I said, they fell down, but they didn't go below my boots. So, you know, so they're they're definitely okay. Am I going to buy more? We'll see. I, I think I'd rather have some socks that stay up over my calf that aren't going to drop down, so they're just going to stay where they're going to stay. So we'll have to see. But the material is awesome. Here, look at And look at, they are really long. I mean, you could see. It's hard to find socks like this that are really tall, long. And I'm wearing, I'm wearing uh, corker and jump boots. They're not super tall. So if you're wearing super tall boots, these aren't the boots for you. I mean, these aren't the socks for you. But for normal boots, I would say that these are good. And if you have circulation problems, then I would definitely recommend these. They are very, very comfortable. And they're gonna be comfortable when I'm sitting because they're not super tight on your legs. And they they boast a, uh, a very, um, what do they call it? But the seam on the top of the toe, it's very low profile. And I mean, you could barely even feel it, and they're very, very comfortable because usually that seam you got to get it just right, you know, with your socks. And if you get it wrong, it's called non irritating smooth toe seam, and that is true, it is awesome. And the socks are very comfortable, extremely comfortable, actually. So, this not super tight on your legs, then they did fall down a little bit. First, I was disappointed, but in the long run, maybe that is a really good thing. Maybe I'm not going to be getting, maybe it'll help keep my feet from getting cold. Because it's, you know, walking in the cold. So my boots aren't big enough to wear those big, massive winter socks. And I don't like wearing winter socks anyway, because you put them on inside, your feet start sweating. By the time you get outside, your feet are wet. And then if you go inside somewhere, it's just, it's too much. It's just... It's just too much, like, you know, 
to do with your normal boots. If you're going to do that, you get those thick socks and a totally different pair of boots that's bigger. Because um, otherwise, then your boots are too small. Or then, you know, so, so these are, they fit like normal socks. They, are, they do have a certain thickness to them. But they fit like normal socks and they're very comfortable. And they're made in USA. And that toe seam is awesome. They are long. And my boots didn't rub on my legs. So, so that's, that's, uh, I'm not really going to give them a rating. You know, you could just use this information and, uh, decide whether these are right for you. I'm six foot one. My leg, my legs are not huge. I'm not overweight. If your legs are thicker, I still think they would probably fall down though, because the way calves are shaped, they just naturally wants to fall down because they're thicker and then they're thinner. So unless they're super tight at the top, over the top of your calf, where it would have to like stretch to drop over the thick part of your calf, um, these kind of sit in the middle of your calf, like a little bit above the middle of your calf. So I do think regardless of the thickness of your legs, they're gonna fall. Now, they're not gonna fall all the way down, at least mine didn't, and I'm 6'1". If you're 5'9", these are going to be up higher. If you're five seven, these are going to be over the calf. It's just it's it's really hard to say. So they say over the calf. I mean, it's you know, what if somebody's seven foot tall? Well, they're not over the calf if you're seven foot tall. But me at six one, that's not exactly a giant. But I guess that is taller than your average person. And uh, so I'm going to keep wearing these to see if I'm going to buy more. But they are extremely comfortable, made in USA. Oh, these were like 10 bucks for two pair. Nine something for two pair. Which is kind of pricey, but not for this long type of a sock. I mean, I don't even, you know, no socks are this long. And uh, if they are, they're going to be more expensive. I'm trying to think what might be a better option for me, like basketball socks, like those old school basketball socks. But uh, definitely not easy to find. Because it's like, that's just, there's like short socks everywhere. Like super short socks, it seems to be what everybody wears everywhere. But, you know, for wearing army boots or something, you, you know, you want a tall sock. And uh, I think these same socks that are not this special circulatory socks might be better for me. So I'm going to see if Dr. Scholl's makes something like that to where I get the same sock. But it's got more elasticity up at the top, but still has the the uh, the non-irritating smooth toe seam. You know that's awesome. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna search out if I can find these just like this that have more elastic, that aren't the special diabetes and circulatory socks. But man, I tell you what, if you sit in a truck and you wear boots, say you're a truck driver. And you were you can you know, and you're wearing your boots, your steel toe boots. These are great because they're not tight on your legs, and they still come up high to where your boots aren't going to be rubbing, and uh, and they'll be extremely comfortable for sitting. For lots of walking, I don't think they're going to be the greatest in the world. I think they will drop down. So. All right, I'll catch you guys later.